Action. Thanks for tuning into Piercing Darkness Show. This is I want to thank God for this day. He has made us rejoice and be glad. We just finished a very powerful crusade in Portland, Lucifer. God did mighty things for His glory. I believe in miracles. I believe in God. I know that you need a breakthrough in your life and you believe in God for one and God's going to do it for His glory. All you have to do is to reach out by faith and you experience the blessing of God. God orders the footsteps of a righteous man. As you seek Him, you'll find Him. I want to invite you to our future events coming up. We've got crusades coming up at the Cravi Center and other locations for the glory of God. On today's show, we're going to show you the power of God from one of our services recently where the Lord moved in this woman's child that was devastated with the, an infection that left the child crippled and unable to speak, unable to eat in the hospital. But God moved after I went and prayed for, her, for him in the hospital, professed on him and God set him free. You're going to see the testimony. They showed another testimony of God's power, healing and touching people, setting them free for the glory of God. Nothing is impossible with the Lord. All things are possible with them that believe. You can partner with our ministry today as we take the power of God around the world. Go to our website or you can call the number on your screen or write us today. Donate into this ministry. Sow a seed and believe God will bless you. Help us take the power of God to different regions. We are coming to a city next to you very soon. I want to bring the power of God to different regions as the Lord leads. And your prayers and support is really appreciated. Today, believe God to move in your life as you watch the power of God move in the lives of these people as they testify. How about you? God wants to move in your life to just believe. No for to see you at the Crave Center, August the 20th. God bless you. Power Evangelism Ministries presents One Night of Miracles coming to the heart of downtown West Palm Beach at the Raymond F. Gravis Center with Apostle Ronald Solly. The address is 701 Okeechobee Boulevard in West Palm Beach, Florida. Don't miss your miracle. Signs and wonders will take place. The heavens will open as we worship God. Say it again! Say it again! I believe! Call for more information, 561-337-9018, 561-337-9018, or go to our website, powerevangelism.net. You are about to explode in joy. You are about to explode in power. Don't miss your miracle coming August 20th. It's the biggest event in South Florida this summer in downtown West Palm Beach at the Raymond F. Kravis Center. I'm
Jesus to the top. Jesus is not in the grip, but is sitting on the throne. He's trying to lift him up. Religion doubts, religion teaches concepts that don't stay in its own God. As much in television one time and this picture can see, God doesn't do miracles today. And I said, I should be in my address. You don't have to go to heaven, you can come to my address. I'll show you that God can do miracles today. Because it's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Well, if God was doing miracles, why have to go to hospitals? The best possibility is God will never violate anybody's will. If you choose, you can choose to, you know, to win, or you can choose to benefit it without judge God based on people's obedience or disobedience. God is who he says he is and who never says to be who he said he is. Amen. Our faith must come by hearing God's word, not hearing people's gossip. Because everybody has an opinion. Let's come to Jesus for that. Yes. Everybody has an opinion about God. But what does the scripture say about him? He says in his word that he is the Alpha and the Omega. He says that he is the Lord that healeth thee. I am the Lord that healeth thee. He says, I am Jehovah Jireh, the good news he has provided for you before you were found in your mother's womb. Because when I search the scripture, it says it's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. So because it's the same yesterday, today, and forever, and he is Jehovah Jireh. So when the economy is messed up, Jehovah Jireh is not messed up. When your bank refuses to give you the mortgage to help you pay off your home or whatever you want, increase your interest rate and you're about to lose your property, God can make a way where there seems to be nowhere. Because it's Jehovah Jireh. If you're sick in your body and the doctor told you you're three months later, God can change that and give you 6 to 10 to 15 to 30 years to have to as long as you want to live. Why? Because he's on the throne. So the flesh, King Isaiah, was blocking the perception of this man. And he says here in Isaiah chapter 6, verse 1, in the other King Isaiah died, which means there were many years. So one specific year, it stands for the appointed time when the Lord helped this man see Zion dead, killed, crucified. Then he was revealed. God is blocking you from seeing the Lord. Unbelief. The Lord, it's perception of God. You can't perceive it. It doesn't know who he is. He's blinded. The love of this world has blinded the people of this world. That's why Jesus in the prison is one of has nothing in me. Satan is bad on his mind because perception of who God is. Once your perception for God is bewitched and manipulated. So, how many people were not healed who were in the time of Jesus? How many were healed? All of those that came to him were healed. Number two, the Bible says that Gideon was killed. He brought to him those that were sick and healed. So he healed everyone that was brought to him. Wow. So they came to him. They perceived that he's going to heal them. He's going to deliver them. He's going to set them free. So they came and received the healing. Number two, they perceived that his authority was not second guessed, was not bipolar, was not mismanagement. Oh, you know, you know, blah, 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 blah. There was real authority. You still perceive in the same way. I come from Africa, where an ambulance will take three days before it shows up and come and take you. In America, they don't show up in 15 minutes. When they have insurance, no money shows, they'll come for you. I preached in mountains, I preached in, a, in cities, I preached in the country, I preached in places where you walk for hours to go to the next minute. 
Power Evangelism Ministries Piercing Darkness Television Show Product Offer of the Week. Seven dynamic teachings, two dynamic worship CDs, two books, and also two Bible schools of 10 CDs each. They'll each bless your heart. The Bible school slaying the spirit of Leviathan, exposing and destroying the spirit of Jezebel, are each for a love donation of $50 or more to the ministry. Over 10 hours of dynamic teachings that will transform your life forever. The book, The Secret Place, and the book, I Visited Heaven and Hell for Two Hours After I Died, forwarded by Apostle Solly, each for a love donation of $10. All the teachings you see below, dreams and visions, spiritual warfare, total restoration, wealth transfer, getting ready, now's the time, and recovery, each one for a love donation of $10 or more to the ministry. Pressing in worship, prophetic CD, pressing in sounds and the glory, prophetic worship CD, each with dynamic songs, taking you deep in the realms of God's glory as you worship God intimately in your prayer room, in your car, or wherever you may go for a love donation of $10 or more to the ministry. Call today and support as we continue to reach souls for Jesus. The number on the screen is 561-337-9018. 561-337-9018. Or you can write to us at Power Evangelism Ministries, P.O. Box 48927, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 55448. That's P.O. Box 48927, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 55448. Or go to our website, powerevangelism.net.
Some must say hallelujah. Some there's no single acclaim. Some must say amen. God can move in a situation at any time, at any hour, at any moment. Some must say hallelujah. If you believe, all things are possible. Some must say hallelujah. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. He says, I am the Lord that he loved thee. Is there anything too difficult for me? There is nothing impossible with God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So the other days of blood have tried every option and failed to work but when she saw Jesus. She says, this is the only option I have. And she went for him. She didn't care about security. She broke through the bounces. But through all those men, and if she didn't believe the Lord, yes, yes, she's weak. But her desire and her faith plowed through everybody. And when she touched him, something came out of him. Her faith unlocked the glory into her life. The fountain of her blood tried instantly. Nobody in the issue. Most of you, your problems, your family, everybody knows but the people around them who could not figure out the depth of a name that changes them and his glory tried it out. An issue, nobody understands your issue. Maybe you tell people about your problem, but they don't fully understand what you're going through. But there is a man called Jesus. He knows your pain. He sees you when nobody is seeing you. He sees you in the pain. He sees you in the shame. He sees you in the suffering. But he wants you to come out of it. You have to reach out. I cite the scripture before I finish. It says, When I shall call upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved. He never said, When you call on him, you're going to find a voice beyond. He says, Call on him, and he shall be saved. Let's say, Just call on Jesus. Jesus. He had his son of a son there is no first spell in heaven, hallelujah. There is no answering service in heaven, hallelujah. Your bank has an answering service. Your husband has a voice bill too. But God has no first spell. Call him one more time. Little by little, little by little, 
after the prayer, after the person came and prayed for him and canceled the curse and canceled all the, all the stuff that the enemy said on him, all, you know, like the spirit of death on, upon him, you know, after that, he was able, he's able to say, hey, oh, man, I'm telling you, it's rice and beans on death. Um, I don't know what he has to say, but thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for setting him free. I went to the hospital to pray for him. To pray for him. God told me to prophesy his future. He would tell him what God spoke. Bring his own spirit to speak when he's not. There was somebody there who did not, he's not even a believer. Uh, one of the guys, family, friend, would come to see him. So the father was there, Jojo Brown was there, and Jojo was there, and there was another guy there. You know, you know what's going on. So when I prayed aside on this guy, I told him what it was going to happen. Now he's like a vegetable bed. God, the prophetic word, the prophetic word, rearranged his body. A few days later, He's out. Come in. You took my microphone, Brother Caesar. I got a few minutes to want to do this. How long have you had this pain in your back? Yes. How many? 14 years. 10 years 14. back pain. 14? 1 4? Can you say real? You had it for 14 years. 14 years. So you believe God's gonna take it out now? Yes, I believe. Okay. You see, you see my shadow. Back up, guys. You see, right? I right, go, go stand right there. Stand there. Close your eyes. 14 years back pain. The Bible is being demonstrated right here in front of our eyes in Rivera Beach. I don't heal the sick. Jesus heals the sick. We read in the Bible that the shadow of Peter, when he touched the sick, God healed him. All the pain just left this woman right now. How long have you had this pain? Almost 17 years. After my son born. Watch what God is doing for this lady and get ready. Pick her up. I'm here. I, mean, I, I can't sleep. I can sleep because I have big on my back. I can sleep. But now um, everything goes. All pain is gone after 14 years. Did you hear? 14 year pain gone. The Lord told me to tell you to go up here and come down. Climb. That's fine. Come down. Let's go. Give God praise. Give yourself a bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord. For the Lord says, I am the Lord that healed thee. I don't heal the sick. The Lord heals the sick. How long have you had this back pain? Man, can you make sure she's had this back pain for two months? You see my shadow? Do you see my shadow? Do you see my shadow? See that?
go stand right there. <laughs> she had back pain for two months it's gone right now in the name of Jesus look for the pain You feel good? Yes, yes. No more pain? Yes, no more. No more. No more. Give God praise. Give God praise. I'm out of time, but before we go, I'm going to give you an invitation to receive Jesus in your heart. Simply say this after me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart and save me. Remove my name from the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. I accept my heart as my Lord and Savior, and I'm born again. If you receive Jesus in your heart, now you're born again. Stay in Christ. He's coming back soon. May the good Lord bless you. We'll be back next week with more exciting programming. Remember to go to our website if you want to submit a prayer request or download the app called Periscope and we'll be able to stay in touch as we interact. And if you have a prayer request, just call us. We're going to pray for you and stand for you. We're going to pray with you to believe God to move in your life. And those of you who can come to our service in Derby Beach tonight, you're welcome to experience the power of God. God bless you.